FSD has proved a tough nut to crack, but year after year they think they can do it and everybody is convinced it's gonna happen eventually. Themselves and everyone else should have it solved by 2020. Yet the criticism only falls on one company for failing to get there in a timely manner. Maybe it's because they don't have LiDAR. I don't think that's the case, but joining me to discuss it is Herbert from Brighter. He is Brighter. His channel makes me brighter. That's why I head over uh, to Brighter with Herbert. Uh, and so we're going to have a conversation about that. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. <laughs> Yeah, what a week it's been, huh? Uh, lots of exciting stuff going on. Uh, hey, guys, uh, just a quick reminder. The only reason I'm able to keep doing this is because of the great supporters like you. Uh, yes, that's right. It's a PBS uh, pledge drive time. Patreon.com, <laughs> uh, YouTube, and X are always you can support me. Uh, but let's just jump into this because we've got some exciting stuff to look at here. This is from Forbes. Elon Musk says robotaxis don't need LiDAR. As Tesla buys them from Luminar, oh, the information came out from Luminar's uh, quarterly report where they disclosed that millions of dollars, specifically twos of millions of dollars, uh, were spent uh, by Tesla to buy LiDAR. Two million dollars. Is that a lot? I think that translates to if they're a thousand dollars each, that'll be two thousand lidar units. But is it? Uh, you know, I've seen that number, but it's only people saying, "Yeah, I googled it," and it's and it's two thousand dollars. Let's look at this here. Waymo to stop selling their sensors. Uh, this is uh, from two three years ago, three years ago now. Mm -hmm. Waymo was paying seventy five thousand dollars per sensor suite. You can see it right here, and that they were hoping uh, to get it, hoping to get it down to $7,500 per car. So I don't know where that <laughs> thousand comes from. Yeah. This is, yeah. Um, and they say, well, yes, but you can get them from Luminar for less than 75,000, maybe even less than 7,500. Okay. But what if I need a bespoke custom one just for my specific use? It feels like they might be overstating the number that you can actually get for that price. LIDAR, is it the silver bullet that clearly we've been waiting for? Well, so first of all, the numbers here, like you said, it's it could the maximum could be 2,000 units, but it could be much less than that because of the numbers you just said there. In the end, they, they, Tesla did buy LiDAR units to get ground truth, right? To compare um, what it would be like with or without it. And this is what they were doing before. So that's apparently, right, you'll share here that Elon said that, that is not the case. They don't need it for that um, at the, anymore. And so it's like, sure, it doesn't matter if they did buy this or they didn't buy this. It, that's, it means nothing, really. It doesn't mean what they're trying to uh, lose, you know, they're trying to convince you is that, oh, no, Tesla's tech is not working. Vision only doesn't work. And therefore, let's go ahead and buy LiDAR so that we can um, test to see if we absolutely need LiDAR or not. That is absolutely not what's happening that, at all. So The Verge reported, oh, Elon doesn't like LiDAR. That's not a thing, by the way. Uh, SpaceX uses yeah. LiDAR for docking of the SpaceX uh, Dragon capsule. LiDAR has amazing uses when it's used for the right thing. Previously called it a crutch and said many companies rely on it and that they are doomed. Well, apparently Tesla is stocking up on crutches. <laughs> oh, the verge of news is also the verge of funny. In fact, Tesla bought so much LiDAR from Luminar, it helped offset a quarter over quarter drop in revenue. Well, yes, if you don't have any customers and one of them buys 30% <laughs> of your inventory, it's going to make a difference. Yeah. What Tesla's doing with two million worth of Luminar LiDAR is anyone's guess. So let's mm -hmm. definitely assume the worst to which whole Mars catalog. The Verge is so silly. Tesla is stocking up on crutches. It's a remarkable reversal until mm -hmm. they acknowledge that Tesla has been using these since 2021. Yeah. And Elon, as you pointed out, retweeted, we don't need them even for that anymore. Well, then why are you their biggest customer? We didn't get an answer of that. And this is using your $1,000 figure that we've been seeing thrown around. If I had to guess, it's for maybe manufacturing related processes, like real-time data capture on the assembly line. That's a very yeah. reasonable speculation. Yeah. There could be all sorts of reasons for it. Um, but yeah, there's no no 
uh, a very, very low possibility that they're using it to to now be a reverse and going, we don't need, we don't, you know, FSD vision only doesn't work. And we absolutely need the LiDAR. We need to outfit all of our cars with LiDAR. That is not the, the case. It's so low because you and I are driving our cars right now <laughs> who are doing just fine without it just with vision cameras and they've already proven the case and you and i have done many shows already to show that there's these you know 20 30 50 100 car uh, companies that uh, sell lidar in china many of them have gone bankrupt many of the founders and ceos of previous lidar companies have come out and after they've left that company said uh, we're going to start a new company. It's going to be vision only. You know, they realize that it's not the case and it's done for. But it's funny that Verge and other articles will try to make some sort of controversy out of this. But it doesn't matter that they bought this many. They could be, like you said, they can use it for the factories. They can be using it for maybe testing. I would have assumed more ground truth stuff, but that's, Elon said, that's not the case. That they're past that. When your readers expect mountains and all you have are molehills, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that if, if vision only was the right approach that other CEOs would recognize it. Well, it is happening. What do you mean? That it's exactly what's happening. So we've seen uh, Lee Auto, we've seen Huawei. They've already said that we need to move to uh, vision only and they've made that commitment. So that's, it's happening. Yeah, there you go. Xiaomi and Tesla China have become direct rivals with their challenger to the Model 3. So uh, Lin Bin posted a message on Weibo saying that Tesla's advanced driver suite is that he went and did the a test deal. ride. It's the real yep. deal. He, I don't know. I don't think they went to Missouri, which of course is the Xiaomi state. Uh, but mm -hmm. I think they had a chance to <laughs> go to what California <laughs> and, and drive it out. T check it out. I went to Tesla store to experience FSD 12. I came out of the parking lot, got on the highway, merged with the vehicle, got off the highway, w walked through the city. Maybe that's drove through the city and finally returned. Oh, he walked through the city and then finally returned to the parking lot. It took more than 10 minutes and covered 10 kilometers. Although not many vehicles on the road, it does not require high precision maps and does not have LIDAR. It's an auto mm -hmm. autonomous driving technology based entirely on a pure vision model. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. So other people are checking it out and if they think it's working it's working and again, it's just funny that the story keeps popping up because it's done this story has been done for a couple of years now like i like mentioned to you so many lidar companies have gone out of business and so many have already reported that that's not the case you don't need lidar you can get away with vision and the whole point is let's say it is thousand dollars which it isn't right we know that it's way more than that we know that you know they're spending Two hundred thousand dollars per car. That's if you include not only the technology but also the um, the HD mapping and all the tele operators you need to manage it. They're they're nowhere near to be profitable. Let's say that's the case. A thousand dollars per car. You'd outfit every single car. You need a hundred thousand of them in Chicago alone to be able to create a robo taxi business there to be competitive in any case. What are you going to do? I mean, some people will say to me, like, I think um, even Tasha Kini, I interviewed her. She said, well, let's say it is, you know, 1,000 to 5,000 per car. It's actually not a big deal because it's going to be armatorized over the years of the robo taxi service. And so it's not as big of a hit for them. Uh, that part is true. But at this point, it's already shown that you can get any car with just the eight cameras and you're good to go. So why would you even bother doing this? What are you going to do with 2000 cars worth of sensors outfit three hours of cars? That's not, <laughs> that's not the help that we were hoping for. And of course, as you know, there's no more versions of FSD coming except, oh wait, uh, we're expecting them in the next week. 12.4 is expected within the next week. Now in the past, you know, Elon has missed timelines like these, but when it's come to the rollouts of 12 dot releases, they've been steady and consistent uh, every week or two since 12 drop. And we're seeing market improvements every time. So yeah. what, I mean, it's exciting and I'm not sure what to make of it apart from, I don't know, sour grapes. Uh, we did see a video earlier this week, a four lane road, two lanes in each direction. And Waymo was trying to pull out and turn left but the traffic was backed up. You couldn't move. So Waymo mm -hmm. inched out, inched out. Eh, I'm going into oncoming traffic. Why not? I'm going to go the wrong way down this, down this road because of course, LIDAR is a silver bullet and nothing with LIDAR would ever make a mistake. 
Well, okay, so the, the, just to clarify, right, we need to understand something a little bit more. LiDAR, radar, vision, what they do is they actually determine if a place is, uh, if, a, if an area, a space is occupied or not occupied, right? You don't want to hit anything that's physical. That's what it does, right? And they need to be millimeter accuracy so that they can, that's why they do HD mapping so they can see the curbs, right? They can see the, 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 the fire hydrant. That's what they do. They don't tell you what it is. They don't read the signs. They don't under, understand the context. And so this, this whole thing about the vision only can actually tell you <laughs> that that's a fire hydrant. And then the neural net knows that that's a fire hydrant and it actually understands what fire hydrants are for. You know, it can read signs and it learned it on its own that what these signs mean, you know, don't turn right on this, on this, on this, uh, until the, on, the, on, the, on the red light, you can't turn right. This is something that LIDAR can't do. So even if, even if, this is all somehow true that somehow we need to buy LIDAR. That's one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle is you need to switch to neural nets and LIDAR can't, it's, it's, it's not vision. So you can't tell, you can't figure out what it is, right? LIDAR can't read signs. It just knows if there's a, a, a physical object there or not. And, and, and this is something that, um, Ashok Aswami pointed out in a video that he did. He goes, we used to do occupancy network where it can tell whether or not a pixel is occupied or not. The problem is that there are scenarios like fog. Fog is, it looks like it's entire, the whole thing. I should not drive because it's a, you know, a sheet of metal in front of me or something like that it doesn't know what it is. It just knows that it's occupied because everything's failed. Neural net figured it out on its own, that that's fog. I can drive through that. So it's understanding the pixels are being covered by something, but it knows eventually that it's fog as opposed to anything else. That's the big difference. So it doesn't matter. The, the, the equipment, the hardware is just one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle is software, neural net versus heuristic coding. And the third is data. You need all this data to teach it. And this is where he was saying that it's a crutch. Just to clarify the people who didn't understand that. He said, if you're a company and you just do, you do LIDAR, you have vision and you have radar. Now you have three kinds of information coming in you are trying to figure out what to do and it gets it's very confusing but if you just get rid of the others uh, they become a crutch because you think it's going to help you determine what to drive and not drive but actually it's a crutch because if you get rid of it you're going to now have to deal with the hard problem of vision trying to just vision only trying to understand the world you know his thinking there was proven to be correct that vision only can actually understand the world and better because they focus their time and effort on trying to see how they can make vision better than LiDAR. And they were able to do that. And now that you have vision only uh, AI driven parking assist that people kept saying, there's no way you need radar to be able to tell you exactly how far away that that uh, wall is. And now we're seeing that it's actually better. You can see so much more of the world around you. So, so the, the example you're giving is saying that while LiDAR may be better at some things and radar may be better at some things, it doesn't matter if the brain is incapable. So here's the analogy I will share with you. Get ready to have your mind blown. Are you familiar okay. with the mantis shrimp? The mantis shrimp, unlike humans no. who can see three different yeah. colors, the mantis yeah. shrimp can has 12 different wavelength receptors in their eyes, which means they can not only see farther into the infrared and the ultraviolet, but they've got all these spikes in, in vision perception in places we don't, leading many to conclude that they can mm -hmm. see infinite colors better mm. than any human. Mm. But the reality is they don't have the brain to process infinite colors. <laughs> so what they have is the ability to see 12 colors. That's it. <laughs> Every color receptor has one job. And yeah. on the surface, you look at it and say, oh, I wish I wish I was a mantis shrimp. And, and then you zoom out and you go, wait, what the heck am I saying? I don't want to be a mantis shrimp. <laughs> I'll never even know that I that I had that thought in the first place. This genie yeah. was fooling me again. Yeah. So it is having the ability to see more. What Tesla found is that it introduces uh, disagreements. If the radar mm -hmm. cannot tell the difference between an overpass and an obstacle, it it's just noise that doesn't allow the signal to get through. So I think what we're saying is, I'm not worried about this. This LIDAR story is nothing. It is a mountain out of a molehill. 
and and even if it is, let's say that, um, let's say that they discover that, uh, you know, for the boring tunnel, Las Vegas convention center, that they're going to have an autonomous vehicle there and it's going to go through the boring tunnel. For some reason, LIDAR would be just that much more safer. So what? Add it to those mass vehicle, you know, mass transport buses and train kind of like autonomous vehicles, put them there. If it helps, it helps. <laughs> it's not like, you know, oh my God, RoboTaxi and FSD is all broken and they made a mistake and the whole company's dead. That's not what's happening. That is a very good perspective. And I appreciate that because uh, that would be a, use, a, a unique use case where it would make sense to uh, pay whatever it costs to just make it work, uh, where it's pretty clear to CEOs, engineers, and a variety of experts working in every field except LIDAR that this is that pure vision works. I've still had conversations with people who work for LIDAR companies who disagree with that conclusion because of course they would never ask a barber if you need a hair. So until they we, leave, like I said, there's many of them that, that left that company and then they'll tell you now, oh shoot, made a mistake. That's what they're saying at this point. And they're going to start a new company. It's got nothing to do with LIDAR. We have seen a little bit of that. <laughs> so what did we miss? What did we misunderstand? Uh, what are your thoughts on how soon Mantis Shrimp will be driving cars of their own? Uh, <laughs> and uh, like, subscribe, do the usual, all those good things. You know what you got to do. And if you get a chance, uh, who knows, maybe even, uh, you know, uh, throw a buck of support. Who knows? It's yeah. all helpful and all that good stuff. So stay tuned, stay juicy. And I can't wait to hear from you clever robots under the sea.